this bitch around and then we'll get started. Oh, oh. Keep my visor closed so the wind's not too bad for the video. So this is the bit of road that I'm going to be riding on, teaching you guys how to learn on a thousand cc. Like I said before, don't just jump to a thousand. If you're in America, you guys are crazy as, so you guys can, I guess. Um, so on every bike, this is a back brake. Just push that down with your foot, puts on the back brake. It's simple. This is your front brake, this lever here. So squeeze that in. I only squeeze it in a little bit to be honest, because especially on this bike, it's got two sides. So it stops pretty bloody easy. This is your throttle. That's what makes you go. Womp. I wouldn't suggest like just going womp on a thousand though. Unless you want a wheelie. Um, this is your kill switch. I don't do it because for some reason this bike don't like it. I need to lift up my visor. Sorry if it's a bit windy. Uh, so that's your start. Your electric start. These don't have kick starts. That's more dirt bike. I don't know if you can get a road bike with a kick start. Your key. Your mirrors. Your speedo. Uh, well I guess if you don't know what a speedo is. This is your rev range. And then on my bike, your speed uh, shows up here. Some old bikes have two gauges, some are all different. So on my bike, this is your hazard light. It turns on both indicators at once. So if there's a crash or you're broken down, that's the best thing to do. This is your pass light. Every motorbike should have that. Your uh, high beam and low beam. Keep it on low because you're a uh, Sorry. You're a see you nt see you next tuesday if you keep it on high beam um your turn signals so for this all you do do that left and right and to turn them off you just click it your horn your horn is your favorite thing but then again when people cut me off i just rev it and then it seems to get their attention more than the horn does so this is your clutch this is this and your uh, accelerator is a thing you'll be using the most. So with the clutch, what you want to do is just squeeze in. I use two fingers, so I find that the easiest. Some people use a whole hand, some people will use one finger. I guess once you start riding properly, you'll get used to it. Um, I'll show you more of that in a second. So this is your gear lever. So most bikes... <coughs> sorry. Unless you've got it set to, I think it's called GP shift or some. So it's one down, five up. So how it goes is neutral, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Oh, I thought someone called my name. But sometimes you can accidentally kick it into neutral when you're trying to change the second. But if your bike's fine, it's probably never going to do it. So what you want to do, start up the bike, turn your key, I usually wait till everything's loaded, so press your ignition, hold that in, so your accelerator, your clutch, so that's the main thing that we'll be working on today. If I had more GoPros I would set a GoPro up on the um, brake and the clutch, uh, oh my god. If I had more GoPros, I would set a GoPro on the clutch side and the gear side, but um, I don't. I only got this one because my other one broke, my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Also make sure your chain is tight, not too tight though, just needs a little tiny slack in it, otherwise phew, probably break. So I heard. And make sure it's lubed, otherwise your sprocket and your chain will just wear out so fast. Alright, so, my favourite part of the day. What you want to do, get on the bike, easiest way, if you're scared, grab the handlebar, left handlebar, right handlebar, and kick your leg over. Kick your uh, stand up. Otherwise, here I'll show you. 
otherwise if you put your stand keep your stand down you're gonna hold in your clutch kick your stand down and you stall it simple as that it's more of a safety thing so you you don't go riding and I'm guess uh, you go to turn and the um, stand flings you off or something gets caught on something because that would suck all right let's start the beast up so what you want to do clutch I usually hold it in all the way with two or three fingers when I start off I use three then sometimes I use two depends so clutch all the way in uh, gear lever down to first when you're learning probably just stay in first for now just so you can get used to it so for the first part I want you guys to keep your hand on the accelerator but I'm not I'm just going to show you so slowly the, uh, let out the clutch and the bike will roll see how it's rolling my feet are well my, it does look like my feet are there you go they're sliding now but yeah just just walk with it to uh, I think there is a word for this um, I can't remember what the word is but let's just say the G spot of the bike so once it's in the G spot you get used to that walking it and you can feel where it is if you let it out faster it's going to take off faster that's basic All right. revs so what you want to do slowly let off the clutch so once it's starting to go then you accelerate just a little bit and slowly let off the clutch even more and then brake brakes on this side remember use your front brake as often as you can I don't because I'm in a bad as habit habit of um, just using always back brake but I'm, I changed back brake so many times it's ridiculous thank god they're cheap but <clears throat> use your front brake when you're turning don't use your front brake otherwise the bike's probably gonna fall over more chance of it falling over than you turning depending on how hard you brake so turning don't use back uh, front brake use your back brake only otherwise you'll regret it um, when you're stopping you can use both so like this so we'll go clutch in when you brake front and back and you stop pretty fast if you use your back this is what happens that's all the way down but for some reason I don't reckon my back brakes are pretty good I'm, just, I'm uh, riding right now all right this is front brake yep don't um, don't bloody just grab the front brake otherwise depending on what bike you're on if it's powerful enough um, and you're going fast enough actually you'll go straight over the handlebars I've done that before by accident that's how I crashed my very first bike so we just get back up to here again alrighty so just keep practicing that really always practice this first that's how I learned I, so when I first started riding um, uh, what was it three and a half years ago four years ago now first of all my brother just showed me that walk with it once you get used to that like when uh, to let it go that's when you can use the throttle see just a little bit on a thousand you don't need much throttle well you can barely see my hand moving that's my feet but yeah so that's that part well now we'll go to changing gear so clutch in accelerate you can change gear whenever so I'm gonna do it short so clutch in you can do it all the way see how it went into neutral just flick it up again mine does that a little bit especially because I didn't do it fast enough just turn 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 so clutch all the way hold up clutch all the way in kick up like doesn't matter how hard you kick it up 
it's not going to go you any further than second. It can only change one gear at a time. Unless your gearbox is pretty stuffed, then it might be able to change more than one. So what you want to do, when you're taking off also, definitely don't just hold in the clutch and do that and let go of the clutch. Otherwise, whoop, you're going wheelie. Unless you're like a pro, then, then do it, you know. So, I'll hop off the bike, turn it off. So to change gear, hold in the clutch, down, that's first. So you make out your riding now, hold in the clutch, up. I think that just put me into neutral. Yeah, but <clears throat> when you were riding, it would um, put you in it, into second, so that's good. So revs, when you're changing gear, probably change about, on this I change about every 4,000, 5,000 Ks, unless I want it to sound loud, and then I can just ch change it up to whenever I want really. Up to you when you change gear though, to be honest, you can... You can feel it, like, when it's starting to go, I don't know what it's like on a 250, I haven't ridden one of those for a few years, but you could just feel it, you know, you you understand me once you get a bike and start riding, what the hell, damn, a massive bulldozer or something, yeah, Whew. Jesus, so with the, yes, it's dirty at the moment, so with the braking, when you're slowing down, you want to let go of the accelerator, hold it in the clutch, pull in the front brake, not all the way, otherwise you're going to stack it, and then just push down on the back, uh, back brake. So just at the same time, I probably, what do I do? So when I slow down, I always put it on the back brake first, and then the front, I seem like that keeps me the most steadiest, but... I'm not. Sure. I'm. I'm not 100% sure. This is. This is just how I ride. So, if there's like races or people that have to think they're top shit, don't bother commenting. I don't look at those comments anyway. Um, but yeah, this. <coughs> I'm still alive after four years, so I have 110% trust in how I ride. You guys. It's up to you how you what you choose, but that is how I ride my motorcycle, and that is how you should learn. So slowly learn the G spot of taking off. Once it's once you're uh, walking with it, um, that's your G spot. Then you can accelerate with it. Then slowly let off the clutch while giving it more revs. Um, yeah. So gear one down, five up. You hit it just as hard as you can to save you going into neutral, but that's really it. It's just like real simple to ride a bike. It's really not that hard. And it's the best thing in the world. So many people that have recently get the, got their bikes or old people that have gotten their bikes, they're like, I couldn't lo imagine life without it. Like when I'm feeling upset or just not right, I ride this. Ah, uh, look at it. It's, it's sexy. It's really sexy. And just, you don't think about anything else except the bike and your next move when you're on a bike, I guess. Well, I don't anyway. I don't want to think about what I'm having for dinner um, when I'm on the bike. Because that can turn bad. Also, one other pointer that I'll give you guys. <coughs> so when you're turning... You always want to look to your what whatever way you're turning. So if you turn right, look that way. If you turn left, look that way with your head. Because a lot of crashes I see on YouTube. So say I was going here and I didn't look, uh, like turn my head. More than likely, I'm gonna go straight where I'm looking. So I'll go straight over. That's why you know a lot of videos on YouTube. If you guys have seen them. It's bad. It's called target fixation. And um, that's how a lot of people have lost their life, sadly. Rest in peace.
Um, I'll show you how. I'll show you the difference. Shit. Hope I don't crash. I just do figure eights. So what you want to do? Come up to the road or whichever side you're turning. Look. Look, 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 look. Yep. Then look this way. Look, look, look. See how sharp I'm turning? There's really nothing to be scared of. Like, if you drop your bike, you're learning. Alright, let's do it without with me looking straight. Oh, fucking. Jeez. Oh, I had to turn my head a little bit there. Alright, oh, God. It's so scary. I don't know how people do this. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see there, turn your bloody head. It's so much easier. There we go. Had all that room left. I'll show you guys what you need to do in the learner course. Mind you, I'm in a little space. The learner course is so much easier. This is for Adelaide, by the way. I'm not sure about you guys. So we start off here. We start off here, actually. On the line. I don't know who drew this line, but cheers. Shout out to you. So what you would do. So I'm pretty... Uh, how, yeah, yeah. So you get up to third gear. That's the highest gear you get up to. And you're in, like, I think 40Ks, 30Ks. So you're ch changing every 10Ks. So what they'll do, they'll wave you down. So what you want to do, clutch in, change your gear to first, accelerate, second, third, then you get to a circle, then you go back to second, then you keep looking, you make sure you look actually. Otherwise, oh shit. And then accelerate, third, second, then you slow down. I need to slow down a lot because I'm in a tight spot in second. Then you go around, then you accelerate, first, second, first, and you'd stop right in front of him. And then you say, Yep, you passed. That's how easy it is. But literally, the circle is as big as this road, maybe bigger. So you're going around the circle. So, so easy. Anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope to God I helped someone out. Especially if you're in Adelaide. Seriously, if you're thinking about getting a bike, it's the best thing ever. Free parking. Uh, you can lane filter. Now that's legal. So that means go through the middle. But you can't do it on your learners. That's the only thing. I guess that's good because you're still learning. Um, we don't want bikes always crashing into cars. Because a lot, I know a lot of you dodgy bastards will just take off. Um... The main reason I got my bike was free parking. I was doing security at the time, and um, I was paying like thirty dollars a day for parking in the city. I was like, "Nah, I need someone else." So I was like, "Yeah, go get my license. Got a bike. Well, got a bike before my license. Practiced just down my street. Um, then I was pretty confident after like one or two days of practicing, probably like maybe an hour or two a day." So that's how easy it is to learn. So um, just practice on your street really, or if you've got a massive backyard or know somewhere that's a closed off road, if you can get someone to ride your bike there for you, cause you don't want to risk it. Don't risk it for the biscuit um, before you get your license. Cause you don't want to stuff it up. Cause it seriously is the best thing in the world other than sex. But um, now you got a G spot, I guess. Anyway. I'm out. I keep stalling, so thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, it does help one of you guys out. If you enjoyed the video or found it um, helpful, please leave a like. My channel's been growing pretty bloody fast lately. Yesterday, I got 19 subs. I was like, Jesus. So, at the moment, I'm recording this. I think I have 790, uh, three or four subs.
So I'll be at 800 soon, then I just got 2,000 subs to go. Then I'm at my goal of 1,000. Then I'll probably up my goal to go big or go home, eh? 10,000. Then after that, 50, then 100. And I don't know how big I'm going to get, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get some food at Semaphore. I'm starving. I'm thirsty. It's fairly hot today, so catch us all in the next one. Ciao.